Hello, Patriots. Welcome to the program again. On the previous post, we talked about some of the legal ramifications about wearing a mask and how it is not actually the law in Kentucky requiring you to wear a mask, even though that's the impression that we're given by Governor Bashir and many in the mainstream media. It is not actually a law. Today, we're going to be talking about the health implications of wearing a mask or not wearing a mask. Uh, first of all, why should we not wear a mask? Well, first of all, when you're wearing a mask, you're constantly breathing in carbon dioxide, which your body is trying to get rid of. This is a poison that your body's trying to expel. By wearing a mask, you can be breathing back in 40 to 60 percent of those dangerous gases. And people like myself, I'm a severe asthmatic. It would be very unwise to further restrict the breathing of people who already have their breath being restricted. Uh, people who have COPD or those who are maybe claustrophobic or have PTSD. Uh, there's a variety of reasons and people who forcing them to wear a mask or even guilt tripping them into wearing a mask would be very unhealthy for them. Now, let's talk about people who do wear a mask. Probably a lot of you out there have been doing that. And of course, breathing in this CO2 is going to cause a few things. First of all, it's going to cause headaches. Wonder how many of you out there have all of a sudden started having headaches that you haven't had before. It also is going to cause sweating. Have you noticed Governor Bashir in the last few weeks since he's been saying we all have to wear masks that when he gets up to do his press conferences, he's a little glossy, he's sweaty. You know why? Well, that's a sign of CO2 poisoning, get a little extra sweaty. It also causes dizziness and drowsiness. And that's one of the reasons we're already seeing reports of an increase in car accidents because people driving had a headache and they were dizzy and they were drowsy. These are all classic symptoms of CO2 poisoning and oxygen deprivation. And there's a host of other medical uh, problems that can be caused because of this, where you would have otherwise healthy people who are now having becoming sick because they're wearing a mask. There is no doubt millions of Kentuckians that do not have the virus. That may not be the impression you're given. You're just like, well, everybody has it. Uh, they do not. There are millions of people, specifically in Kentucky, that do not have the virus, and therefore, no reason for them to wear a mask. So where does Governor Bashir get this idea we should all do this? Well, he keeps pushing this idea, it's the guilt trip train, and the destination is you. And he wants to say, well, you may have the virus, but not know that you have it. And that is the case of someone being called asymptomatic. Someone who would have a virus, some kind of sickness, but they don't have any symptoms, but they're spreading the virus around even though they themselves don't show any signs of it. That's an asymptomatic person. And that's the reason he says we should all wear a mask. Well, think about this. Did you know that you can have the regular flu and be asymptomatic? Did you also know that the regular flu will kill anywhere from 60 to 95,000 Americans every single year, which means if you're not wearing a mask through every year during flu season, you might be asymptomatic and you could be going around killing hundreds of people by not wearing a mask for the regular flu. Well, if those things, I mean, that's all true. You can be asymptomatic with a regular flu. It, it does kill tens of thousands. So that means why haven't we been wearing masks every day for all of our lives because, hey, we all could have had this and killed hundreds of other people. You know why? Because that's ridiculous to muzzle perfectly healthy people in a society through their whole lives because they might have it or they might not. This is a ridiculous program that he's really trying to push. It is unrealistic. It's not the way that we were designed to live. Now let's think about one other thing. On June the 2nd, Governor Bashir, during his daily press conference, he listed that there was a grand total of three people who supposedly died of the virus that day. Their ages were 94, 92, and 69. Well, let's ask ourselves a few different questions here. First of all, is people in that age group, are they already highly susceptible to dying from the flu or flu-like viruses? 
Here's another question. Does three people in a state of about four and a half million, does that constitute an emergency? Uh, is that a crisis? Let's ask a third question. Is it unusual for someone who is 94, 92, and 69 to die of a virus during a day? None of these things are unusual. This is not an emergency when we are looking at these numbers. Everything was locked down, and there's still quite a few things locked down and restricted and limited based on projections. We were supposed to see all these thousands of people in our state that are dying of it. We are now months and months into this thing, and that still hasn't happened. This is not an emergency. Three people in an entire state of four and a half million, and two of them being in their 90s, dying of a virus. We feel for all those who pass away, but that does not mean it constitutes an emergency to continue these emergency powers or continue to have anything at all locked down. Something for you to consider. We're continuing to push back against all this misinformation and the limited information giving you one impression. When you have all the information, you realize something else is actually true. Make sure you tune in every time that there's a new video up. You can click the subscribe button and the little bell icon to be notified when there's the next video. Until the next time, have a blessed day, Kentucky.